现场的呃媒体朋友们，我们在座的各位贵宾，大家午安！在这边要再一次的欢迎各位，今天中午特别抽空来到我们台湾福斯集团我们年度的媒体参叙，我们今天中午的午宴。我是今天午宴的主持人，我是 Brian， 各位午安 ！Once again, ladies and gentlemen, all of our distinguished guests, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, today for the annual media gathering for the、uh, Volkswagen Group Taiwan. My name is Brian, and I'll be your host today. Welcome, everybody. 欢迎各位。在我们今天中午的午宴，其实呃，真的可以说是每一次我们都非常非常珍惜，能够跟所有的媒体朋友们能够参叙，能够见面，一起分享，一起交流的时刻。在今天这一个呃特别的午夜时光当中，也不例外。我们回望着在过去的一年，呃，非常活跃的。兔子，嗯，非常活跃的这个呃一年之外，我们也同样的希望能够展望着，在接下来呢，要继续的往上飞奔，飞跃起来的金龙年的到来。过去的一年，也承蒙所有的呃在座的各位媒体贵贵宾的朋友们，无论是参与、支持、指教，同时呢，也为我们宣传。每一次我们的这个整个集团当中四个不同的品牌，无论是我们的新品，无论是我们的活动，我们也都衷心的感谢。在今天我们中午的这个午宴的时光当中，也一样的，希望能够借由我们今天的午餐时间，不只是能够再一次的跟各位来交流之外，同时我们也希望能够跟大家一起来分享我们在新的金龙年的到来，新的一年当中，整个集团我们未来的大方向，我们在新的一年当中的愿景。So last year in the year of the rabbit, it was a very lively year in terms of the figure, in terms of the sales. And looking forward to the year of the dragon, we look forward to continue to go higher. It's going to be soaring in terms of more brand avenue, in terms of the vision, in terms of the plans that we look forward to share with you today. 在我们今天的午宴当中，首先也希望能够跟所有的媒体朋友们一起再度的身临其境，回望着在过去的一年的来自于台湾福斯集团我们许许多多的精彩时刻，也请大家与我们一起欣赏。是不是能够给我们一点热情的掌声？看到我们在过去的一年，在二零二三年，想必呢，对于很多的媒体朋友们来说，嗯，都有觉得再一次的身临其境。谢谢大家在二零二三年与我们一起，无论是上山，无论是下海，在各个不同的呃这个体验试驾的活动当中，甚至于是我们能够用更加。
多元的方式，能够贴近着所有的车主、所有的顾客与我们之间的距离。不过，同样的，也要谢谢所有的媒体朋友们。呃，我们也希望能够在新的一年，好比我们刚才我们这个画面当中所看到的。全新的篇章的到来，希望能够用更加多元的产品线，在我们今天的未来的新的一年当中呢，能够让更多更多的媒体朋友们能够大饱眼福。接下来呢，我们也准备要开始，先从我们的这个长官们一一的来听听我们在新的一年是怎么样的，充满电力，怎么样的蓄势待发，怎么样的能够未来迎向新的纯电的新篇章。在这边也要再一次的请各位借用各位的双手。与我们一起来迎接我们台湾福斯集团及台湾奥迪的总裁 ，Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the CEO、uh, of and chairman of Volkswagen Group Taiwan, as well as the managing director of Audi Taiwan. Let's welcome Mr. Rahil Ansari. Ansari, 先生。Because uh, I will take you through a couple of slides, I can promise you um, it will be long, but hopefully also exciting.、Um, my name, you know. So、uh, let's start. And I would like to start with a recap of the Volkswagen Group in uh, 2023. So if you look, look at the global performance level,、uh, we sold more than nine million cars,、uh, which is a plus of 12 percent, which is quite a good result. Uh, and a stable result if you compare it to、uh, 2022. We also know that、uh, the markets were still、um, uh, in the face of the semiconductor shortage, while everything is now、uh, mostly back on track. But to achieve this result was still very strong. Apart from this, and this is something、uh, which we will see more and more, and also to Taiwan, I'll come in in the second part when I talk about BGT, is the share of electric vehicles that has increased by 35%. Uh, close to 770,000 cars,、uh, which is a good result.、Um, so 8.3 percent is currently the EV share、uh, worldwide that we have for the Volkswagen Group. Now, if I look at、uh, BGT performance, and Brian mentioned this,、uh, thank you, Brian.、Uh, it's the all-time high, a record that we have achieved with 38,900 cars sold in、uh, 38.9 percent increase, or in 31. That cars that we delivered in Taiwan. We've never sold more than 30,000 cars, and this is an absolute、um, record that we have achieved in Taiwan, and we are very proud of this. I think this deserves a round of applause. Exactly.、Yeah. And of course,、yeah, this is、uh, only the start of our journey、um, because we obviously want to attack the market much more. How do we want to do this? For a competent,、uh, and that applause actually is not for us. That applause is for you, because it would not have been possible without your support. So, dear media friends,、uh, dear colleagues, thank you very much, Shishi, for this outstanding.、Awesome、Now, 2024. We're in the middle of 2024. We had、uh, Chinese New Year already. What are we going to do in 2024? Let's have a look at it from Volkswagen Group Taiwan. This is. Our trademark, our registered trademark in Taiwan, it's all about electrifying Taiwan. For us, the road plug, the road is clearly mapped into electrifying this journey in Taiwan. Why do we say this? Well, actually, it's very clear. 2040, we know that 100% of cars on Taiwanese road have to be electric. 2050, the government has announced net zero emissions. That also means, as car manufacturers, we're moving into Electrifying Taiwan, but for us, it's a it's a responsibility that does not only include bringing products, bringing cars, but also looking at the entire entire ecosystem. So let's、uh, look at it、uh, in the moment. Sorry, there's something wrong with the mic.、Um, there are four elements to it. First of all, we look at and that's what I said: a comprehensive EV lineup. Secondly, it's a customer and digital journey. Thirdly, of course, it's our network enhancement, and most importantly, it's human centricity. What does this mean? Let's look into this comprehensive lineup. And this is what I mean when you look at all the models, the EV models that we already have now, with the QE e-tron, with the e-tron T, but those cars that are coming up in 2024. And some we have mentioned some of those you may have seen already. 
some of those you have not. Starting with, of course, the ID4, the ID5, then obviously also with the ENYAC, the ID bus, and the Q4e drop. What about our digital customer journey? And I would like to spend a little more time on this one. At Volkswagen Group Type, have spent a lot of time and a lot of resources in creating a platform, in creating a digitalized journey. We all know that customers love going to showrooms. They spend time there, they want to enjoy the infrastructure, but at the same time, they want to be connected with the brands also via the phone. Why via the phone? Because the internet penetration rate in Taiwan is 92% which means it's one of the highest in the world. Everyone is connected, everyone. So everyone wants, wants to have also a digital connect with the brand. And we spend a lot of money in unifying that user experience. So you see, of course, for all the brands, whether it's Audi, whether it's Volkswagen passenger cars, Volkswagen commercial vehicles or Skoda, the unique experience for the brand customer. Again, of course, utilizing our synergies. That starts with e-commerce. Everyone loves Shopee, Momo, and everyone loves shopping online. This is one of the big topics. But at the same time, also premium charging experience. And the charging ecosystem is one of the major investments that we have made. And when I come to charging experience, I want to outline this on the next chart. We will offer roaming. What does roaming mean? We all know that in Taiwan, when we go charging, we have different apps on the phone. So you have different charge point operators, and if you want to charge a car, you're driving from Taipei to Kenting. It's a real life example because I did it a couple of times. You charge. You want to charge in Tainan, you want to charge in Taichung, you want to charge in Kaohsiung, or you want to charge along the Highway 1 or Highway 3. But you have to have different apps. For us, you will only need either the Audi app the Volkswagen, the Skoda app, the Volkswagen passenger car app, or the Volkswagen commercial vehicles app. One app for more than 10 CPOs included, more than 500 locations, and I repeat this number, more than 500 locations we will offer for charging in Taiwan, as a Volkswagen Group Taiwan, with one app. This basically means you don't need other apps. You only need one app to charge your car. Let me suggest a little bit. Huh? It's more than 1,000 connect connectors. Huh? So this is the number that we talk about. It's not about range anxiety, because range anxiety starts not only from going to, from A to B, but also, oh, do I have this app actually? Do I need to download? Am I registered or not? You will have one app, I think one of the examples. Stefan's customers, not Volkswagen passenger car app. You have that app installed, you will scan the QR code for the first time, and then you can charge. You can also charge at an Audi dealership, at a Skoda dealership, or at the Volkswagen commercial vehicle dealership. And a major 10 CPOs plus. And of course, it's growing. It will grow, because we have invested a lot in this charging system. And this is what we mean with electrifying to be one. We want to make customer convenience a reality. With this, uh, we will be the largest automotive charging point operator uh, in dealerships in Taiwan, but also outside. Because within the VGT dealerships, we will have more than 60 locations where you have DC charges available, but of course you will also have more. What else? Network, I talked about. Hardware is of course uh, important as well, because it's not only about the digital experience, but also the physical experience. And you see this, and the, the brand colleagues, uh, Julia and uh, Chris and Stefan will talk about it, and I will also talk about it in the Audi bit. <laughs> and human centricity. The human element plays always a crucial role, independent of which activity we are in. And we see on the top left side uh, the festival, the Van Life Festival, we see some CSR activities, we have spent actually uh, quite a lot of money into uh, supporting the, the um, the Spinal Cord Social Welfare Injury Foundation. Uh, we have done a female hackathon, only female entrepreneurs that are basically hacking and coding 
Um, we have uh, and special events for Volkswagen customers to spend the weekends with families or also the sports activities with baseball, uh, with, uh, with raccoon monkeys and uh, also basketball with the new type of kings or the Audi brand. That's it. I stay on the stage and I shift from my group head to, my, to the Audi head now. So now I'm on the stage as the Audi managing director now. So what do we have in store for the Audi brand? And I want to, uh, some of it will be repetitive in terms of the first part of Volkswagen Group Taiwan. But some of it I actually want to show you, which is group applicable, but you will also see it in the Audi part. Now look, let's look at the Audi uh, performance in 2023. First of all, growth, 25.5% growth, 17.8% growth with electric cars. And I repeat, 17.8% growth in electric cars. We only had e-tron, and e-tron then, and e-tron GT available. This does not include any other electric car. But we still have increased that share. Audi Sport, one of the key pillars in positioning Audi as a premium, quality, and lifestyle brand, 21.5%. But how do we achieve that growth now in 2024? Four pillars product, network, experience, digital. And the core and the foundation, of course, always remains people. Now, when we look at the network development, one uh, topic is very clear. We want to grow, and I will show you a video also on this in some time. Okay, that was too quick, yeah. That video you can look at, but I'll go back. So one thing is, is three pillars for the network. Network expansion. We will look for more dealers. We are growing, we're expanding. We will have more dealers in Taipei, and we will have more dealers in Tainan, and also in other parts of Taiwan we will expand. Why? Because we see the demand for the Audi brand, and we also want to offer the accessibility for our customers to uh, our showrooms. Showroom renovation. For those who have uh, been to the new showroom design, have seen it, it's uh, yeah, whether you go to Kaohsiung, whether you go to Tonga, whether you will look at the new showroom in North Taoyin. It all has certain focus areas, certain pillars. And it's more designed with warmer tones. So it's like a living room. You enter the show, see wooden floor, you see a nice coffee lounge with Starbucks coffee, you see yeah, a nice food and beverage outlet. The idea of this is not to have to go to a showroom. Because this is mostly what customers are scared of. I go to a showroom, oh, I have to buy a car. The sales consultant comes and puts pressure on me in having to buy a car. This is what we want to get away with. We want to achieve that someone comes and spends a nice time with Audi. You enter your home, you enter your living room. And this is why the showrooms will look like living rooms. On the right side, the advanced, this is the right side, sorry. Yeah. So your right side there, the advanced customized services. What does it mean? We will offer face recognition in the future, which means we have the customer data installed. If you allow us to use that customer data, we know you come to the showroom and we recognize your face. We know, uh -huh, perfect. Kevin Chen is coming to the showroom. No, he's coming, he's an A3 customer. He always likes his uh, latte, cafe latte with an extra shot espresso. And he's here today because he has a service appointment and uh, all the details of his previous record uh, are also mentioned. This is the idea. We want to customize it and personalize it, the experience. Not like, oh, you come to the showroom and we don't know you. This is the most important and relevant aspect. We want you to feel at home and at ease. And charging. Of course, charging. We will offer, and this is the experience that, that, that we have seen now, because we have installed with the Audi brand charging infrastructure already. All the, yeah, we have we've seen that people get out, they charge the car, but you also know, like I do, Taipei rains, yeah? monsoon season, or we know also in the winter, 
cold, rainy, and that's why we have installed shelters. We not in all locations, but it's coming now. And at the same time, we offer not only CCS1 charging, but also CCS2, which means we welcome also other brand friends and experience the nice living room atmosphere in an Audi dealership. And of course, you are also allowed to buy an Audi car. This is, uh, goes without saying. And we will, of course, also offer destination charging, more locations. So the focus is clear. It's not only from a group perspective, we focus into convenience for charging, more charging stations, convenience when you get out, and also you know, when you drive to the charging station. Our sales consultants and our people in the dealership, they get a notification. So they come out and they help you whether you need help. So if you don't get help, please do let me know. Write me an email if this ever happens to you. This is a mandatory process for us that everyone is uh, being asked whether he or she needs help on this one. Now, digital services. And this is something which I mentioned in the first part. We've invested a lot of money for the Volkswagen Group Taiwan. While I show this as an example for the Audi brand now, it will also come for the other brands, for Volkswagen passenger cars, for Volkswagen commuter vehicles, and for Schroeder. We talk about a dongle functionality, connected. We want our customers to be connected, cars to be connected online. So one is, apart from connectivity, you can see your driver statistics. You can see your real-time vehicle condition. You can see how you can in in enhance your charging. And of course, we have also in-app payment. All of this, I'll show you the video now. Now we see, you can already book three online if you want to. And there you have the status of your car. Find my location and the vehicle status. Also my history, my trip history, I see there. And where did I brake harsh? Where did I accelerate? So the way you drive as well. All this is possible. Also where I drove. And just to give you an example, you give the car to your son or to your daughter, you say, hey, I thought you were a good town but well, actually, your daughter was in Tangnan to see the Lantern Festival last weekend. This you will, of course, know with your app. And of course, charging as well. So this is something which, uh, which is reality. Some part of it is already implemented. The other part you will see soon for all the brands. And of course, with the brand individual design and with brand individual experience. And that's the key for it. What else? Brand experience. I think we've uh, spent a lot of money from the Audi side into marketing, into experience, into events. And the reason for this is when I started two years ago, more than two years ago, when I came to Taiwan, I asked a lot of you, I see many friends here that gave me feedback. What should Audi do better? So increase the image, making dealers more accessible, looking at service locations, looking at residual value. All of those things we did, but of course also the customer experience. If you want to regain trust and if you want to increase the trust of people, you need to also have certain events and experiences available. Let's have a look at it. We had the House of Progress last year uh, with the, the Urban Sphere. Then you of course see AR, VR experience. We have the driving experience as well, off-road. Um, which was nice in the bow track. Then, of course, we also had recently the ice driving in Finland. Uh, see some of uh, some of the friends already here who have also joined golf as well and sports, new type of things. For us, that's a crucial part of it. It's elementary to not only make the brand tangible in showrooms, but also in, on an online journey, but at the same time also have family gatherings, and this is how we also consider our, our customers. They are part of the Audi family. And uh, you can do all the fancy things, you can do digital, you can do charging, you can do everything. But at the end of the day, we also know we're a car brand, 
So what do we have to deliver? Products. And today, my dear friends, yeah, we have, of course, for this year, more than 10 product novelties that are coming for the Audi brand. It's SUVs, we talk about e-trons, and we talk about Audi Sport. But today, I've brought a very special guest uh, that will join me on the stage, and let's have a look who's coming now. If it works, then someone should be coming. Uh, if it doesn't work, uh, I will imitate it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. There we go. e-tron as, well, as well, so both of it. So I'll let you take some pictures first. Um, don't worry, the car is still on the stage, and it will also come back. Don't worry, it will not be there when Stefan is presenting or Chris. Yeah? Um, but let's, uh, I'll wait a little bit and uh, enjoy to take some pictures. Right here, you want to just step right next to the uh, Q4, so we can yes, take a picture of the Q4. Yes, of course. We're going to take a picture together. 抢先现身在我们今天的这个午夜当中希望大家能够让我们今天的这个媒体的餐曲抢先跟大家一起来揭开庐山真面目 q 4 Sportback e e-tron Alright,来我们先看这前方 Okay, uh, sir, uh, Ray, I'll take a look right in the front, right to the center Okay, right over there Alright, to your left hand side, please Okay and once again, back to the middle, back to the center. Okay, right there. Okay. Uh, you uh, so many people, if you need, we can add some Ray Chen. That face to face, you can hold a hand, hold a hand, so we can show our left hand side. Right over there. All right, Rahel. But maybe, um, okay. maybe a shot for the car by itself, the special guest. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, huh? guys. Um, while you take some pictures, I will still take the liberty of talking a little bit about the car because this may be interesting to some of you. How, uh, what uh, lineup are we going to offer? Well, first of all, um, uh, we have trusted it in a way yeah, that we will bring the Q4 e-tron as an advanced uh, 45, but also the Quattro S line 55. Uh, for those who know the car, we will bring it with the latest software, which basically means the maximum output, and I'll come to this also in a, in a second step. Q4 Sportback e-tron, dynamic, very sporty for us. We will bring the Bolt as S line and one as Quattro S line, so the 45 as well as the 55 then as a Quattro S line. What are the highlights? And uh, don't worry, this is not the final, final presentation of the Q4 e-tron. So I know you would love to know the price. I will not announce the price today, Mayo. And um, I will not give you all the product details because I still need to keep your curiosity. The rest is short. It's not uh, a very long time that you have to wait for this car to uh, drive it and to buy it. But let's look at just very little features and some highlights of the Q4 e-tron. And one topic that I would really like to point out over here is the advantage of the MEB platform. Because everyone was asking, okay, why do we have this MEB platform and what is the real advantage? Well, the advantage over here is you have a Q3, a Q5, and a Q7 in one car. What does it mean? The car is as compact as a Q3. The trunk space is as much as a Q5. And the interior space is as much as a Q7. If you look at the car, you will say, hey, how is this possible? Once you sit inside of the car, you will realize how this is possible. And this is the advantage of the MBB platform. Of course, we will uh, bring an MMI touch display with Apple CarPlay. It's a new design language uh, for the Audi brand. Um, we have, uh, uh, of course, the recuperation and steering with the pedals uh, and all of those advantages. But one advantage or some of the advantages that I would like to highlight are on the performance of the range. First of all, it offers the highest electric range in the segment, 547 kilometers if you, according to WLTP. Charging efficiency, 10 minutes, 130 kilometers. And, and this is something I would like to highlight, 40,000 NTD competitive cost ownership advantage compared to an ICE model 
of the same segment. Just let's take some abbreviations. Let's say B or M as an example, as a competitive ICD model without naming the brands. This is more affordable. Total cost of ownership goes down with an electric vehicle, and this is the uh, this is the big advantage that you have apart from the range and apart from, and I come to this now, performance. No? Performance with this car is also a big one. It's very fast. This is something which, uh, I don't know if some of you were taking pictures, sorry. I'll go back. If it works. Yeah. This is the advantage. It's a very fast car. Performance, cost efficiency. And we will offer it as a sport pack and as an SUV. 45, 55, advanced, and S line. Summary I know you will wait for the price. You're very curious, very eager. I can only tell you you will be positively surprised. It is going to be very competitive. With this having said, I can only say. Uh, stay tuned. Um, yeah, and uh, thank you very much for your attention. Um, I wish you a very healthy and happy Chinese New Year. And uh, thank you very much for all the support you have given us in the past year, and I look forward to continuous support in this year as well, not only for uh, for the Audi brand, but of course for entire Volkswagen in Taiwan. And I leave the stage now to my uh, fellow uh, brand managing directors. Thank you very much. Electrified Taiwan, we are really Ulushi 将我们这一次的更多更多的资讯更完整的介绍能够很快的能够让所有的媒体朋友们都能了解得到也请大家跟我们一起拭目以待接下来我们要迎接的同样的也是呃乘坐者一个我们大家所期待已久话题十足的电
梯形的露营车，有跳跃式的成长，成长了百分之将近一百五十。就可以看到，台湾人的确很知道怎么玩乐，以及在生活与工作上面得到最好的平衡。当然，不会只有梯形车是成长的，在去年我们也成功的导入了 Penny c a l i f o r n i a 这是一小型集聚的露营车，让很多小家庭。甚至是 solo camper， 他们可以开着 k a t i e California 在全台各自自在的旅行。独自商旅实质让自己变成一个 van life 最好的代表。所以我们在户外休闲野营，还有露营当中，不管是我们的生活，还是在日常的工作之余，都充分发表了 van lifer 这样的精神。2023无私商旅的前进专案，全新投入的数位工具与顾客满意的升级，品质、精致与数位，成为品牌迈向更高规格、更稳健的指标。无私商旅的每一位成员，从台湾无私 BGT 的团队，到直接提供消费者服务的经商团队，无意不将品质、精致与数位。落实在我们的销售流程当中。今年，我们更进一步的将文精化数位应用服务，带给消费者以及使用者更多美好与品牌互动的体验。和纯电未来，是大家一直期盼我们能够为台湾的社会进一步的减碳，带来新生活的一项服务。我们实质成为台湾在减碳的过程当中不可缺少的角色。当然，在去年的十月，我将第一台不是商旅的电动车 ID b u s 带给各位。今年，我跟各位保证，我们一定会把它带到消费市场上面，成功的在台湾的道路上面安全的行走。另外，通路的服务品质提升，一直都是顾客。可以融化的事情，我们也会让每一位走进福斯商旅据点的消费者，完全轻松以及舒服享受我们带给客户的感受。而在疫情之后，台湾人更知道如何生活，更知道如何保护自己，更知道戴与不戴口罩时，我们要怎么样悠游在我们的路上。所以。我们在今年为各位推出全车系的无私商旅露营车，这些都是因为我们知道，在这么多挑战之后，我们如何把我们的时间管理做到最好，而且聪明的生活。就让我来各位带，数位应用服务。去年四月，无私商旅引进了我们的第一个 App My Even Life。这个 app 在短短的几个月内就已经超过万笔的下载，不管是我们的车主，或是对五四上面有兴趣的使用者，都可以在 My Even Life 里面第一手，而且在最快速的时间得知我们品牌的讯息、产品的资讯，而且你也可以在 My Even Life 做一个及时的数位互动，数位行路三百六十度，可以让客人。直接在上面与车辆把玩，而我们也有特别的领域是达人分享，去台湾哪里才是最紧密的秘境？扩充实境，大家可以在上面看到我们提出的 ID b u t s 不管是在外观还是内装，您都可以知道您想要拿到出来的 ID b u t s 这些都是在去年上半年。就一直跟各位各位提到的，我们的数位应用上面一直都能够持续的前进。而在全台的福斯商旅展示中心，我们也推出了打造你的福斯商旅。而这个热点呢，是让我们可以提供跟顾客之间更多互动的区域。在今年，我们将会陆续提供其他的功能，在满 Even Life 的数位应用上。例如，福斯商旅的线上精品销售
，那甚至全台扶持车的预约功能，智慧联网，智慧销售管家的销售工具，当客户走到我们的展间时。就会看到我们专业的顾问，能跟各位分享更多品牌车主的使用经验。那这是大家最期待的纯电未来。我们从 K D 到 m a r t i v a n 从 m a r t i v a n 到 I D Bus， 福斯商旅一向都著称为真正的正七人座修旅。那今年，我们也不例外的为各位带来纯电的正七人座纯正修旅。福斯商旅只提供真正的七人座修旅车款，因为我们在意的是各位的乘坐空间，我们在意的是各位驾驶与乘坐的舒适性，而乘坐的舒适性只是最基本的需求。再来就是我们的通路，通路服务品质绝对是不可以忽视的，直接跟消费者之间的实体接触点。我们在新车销售展示中心通过了最严苛的规范，在去年自上半年到年底的时候，我们经过严格的审查与评选，在全台湾精选出八所八个据点。可以专卖纯电与露营车的专营展示中心，而这些专营展示中心将在今年陆续的慢慢推出给消费者。我们在意的是每一位来到店里面上车体验，来到店里面充电与我们的人员互动的每一个过程，都能够体验出一次商旅纯电的未来。修旅的服务，当然，每一个纯电还有露营车的专业展示据点，都是拥有最高规格的专业服务与流程。我们经过了精选的新车展示销售顾问，每一位顾问都可以称为电动车专家。从第一次接触到最后完成交给各位，每一个流程。都可以让各位感到安心。服务厂的特修区以及服务厂的服务也是经过严格的甄选。我们有最好的技术长与服务顾问，因为我们认为客户就是我们的家人，而我们总是给家人最好的。最后，其实刚刚在大家 m i n g l 的时间。就有媒体朋友很热切的向我询问，我们的露营车规划到底是什么？我打了喷子，我想听听看大家对于台湾的露营、台湾的户外休闲生活，是不是还有那么强烈的热忱？嗯，我觉得很有信心，因为福斯商旅就是一个 Van Life 代表，在二零一九年，我们将 Van Life 这个车名。与福斯商旅、台湾福斯商旅在一起，当时我的我们就已经实质，我们绝对要将 Van Life 的精神发扬光大，让每一位台湾的车主、消费者都是 Van Lifer。当然，我们要完成架杠 Van Lifer 想要的愿望，听到消费者的声音，还有他们想要的东西。这款车会是福斯商旅最大的露营车。经过多重关卡，我们终于把它带到台湾。它将会是台湾的福斯商旅全车系露营车的最后一块。所以，不论是小型的野营计划，或是多天长假期的露营活动，甚至是要开车。一个月在台湾全岛啪啪走，五四商旅都能给你你想要的露营车款。从 Van Lifer 到 Even Lifer， 五四商旅都准备好了。我想台湾的消费者也准备好了
，各位媒体朋友也准备好。最后，感谢媒体朋友对于台湾服饰商旅一路的支持、鼓励与陪伴。接下来还有很多挑战，也有很多有趣、新鲜的事情。我期待各位跟我们一起继续努力，继续期待。更好的台湾服饰商旅，敬祝各位平安如意，谢谢。再次谢谢我们台湾服饰商旅副总裁，我是我们今天的一个真正的 Managing Director of Volkswagen Commercial、uh, Commercial Vehicle。我们谢谢 Julia， 谢谢吴世芬女士。哇，我在想。呃，今天我们所看到的这个 ID Buzz， 其实我自己也是一样。我还记得在去年的秋天，第一次看到 ID Buzz 现身在台北的这个新一区，那个时候就觉得非常非常留下深刻的印象。同时，再加上我们的总裁刚刚为我们的细细的介绍，未来希望能够让更多更多的家庭也好，爱车人士也好，能够感受得到，呃，走出户外的美好。而且呢，也希望能够用更加多元、更完整的产品线。另外，当然还包括了其中的扩充的配件，能够让大家感受得到从乐旅进入到了纯电乐旅。好的，接下来在我的左手边会场的右边，我们也看到了下一波的要跟大家分享的重点，已经准备完成的 ID.5 GTX。另外，我们接下来要迎接的当然就是我们台湾福斯汽车的总裁。So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming. Our managing director of Volkswagen Taiwan, Stefan Knapp. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't that a beauty? Yeah? I like it too, I can tell you. Yeah, that's a how? How? I see that you are awake. Fantastic. Yeah, welcome, dear media friends. Seems to be a normal practice that we see each other every two weeks. I'm very happy to meet you all here again and to share with you Volkswagen passenger car's performance and, in particular, our plans for 2024. So let me start with our results in 2023. In 2023, we reached more than 14,000 cars and a market share of 3.5%. Those results are a historical high, the highest sales and market share we ever had in our 60 years history here in Taiwan. But that's very important for everybody. We did not only achieve the best sales here, our used car business reached a new milestone too. With the new brand identity, we call it certified pre-owned, we reached a used car sales record of more than 5,000 wheels. That's a growth of 50%, 50% year over year. And everybody knows in this room, USCA is the fundamental base for growth in the future. Customer satisfaction for Volkswagen is key. Therefore, we continued to enhance our service outreach and improve the service quality through both offline and online platforms. Four new leadership locations were opened, mainly, mainly focusing on service convenience. Convenience, as you know, in Taiwan is key. So new digital tools such as line service were added to improve customer experience, and our partnership with Car Plus was strengthened to expand in our mobility solutions and our mobility offer. So with all these initiatives, Customer loyalty was improved to a level of 110,000 members in our Volkswagen Privilege program. This represents more than 85% of our car market. But let's now take a closer look at the 2024 plan. From the product and sales side, we expect to keep our sales momentum in 2024. Base, obviously, is our comprehensive product lineup, including internal combustion engine offers, but very important also in the future, battery electric models. Last month, we held together, we launched the new T-Cross. Together with this model, we introduced for the first time an online car purchasing platform to offer a seamless integration 
of online and offline customer experience. In 2023, 66% of all Volkswagen vehicles sold were SUVs. So the T-Cross actually represents the entrance to our T-SUV family and is therefore very important to us. It delivers on Volkswagen's DNA, no compromise on safety, superior quality, and as you all know, lots of fun to drive. It attracts consumers' attentions and the price of 888,800, an auspicious price as you know, really moves the needle at the moment in our dealerships. Within two weeks, we were able to achieve more than 300 orders, which is for us a big number, bearing in mind last year we sold 700 T-Cross. So you see, it's really working. This year marks the 50th anniversary of our legendary golf. This golf is the backbone for our love brand here in Taiwan. Since its launch, actually, we sold more than 65,000 golf. It has been the best-selling model in the brand's history. But as you know, every golf tells a story. I actually had my first big accident in a golf. When I started driving, and I can tell you, I felt very safe. But my mom was not very happy when she saw the car, you can imagine. So to celebrate the 50th birthday of this timeless classic, we will continuously provide the best offer and hold a series of activities throughout the entire year. Amongst other initiatives, we are planning to join the first GTI meeting hold, or held in Wolfsburg in summer. So dear colleagues, please stay tuned. Volkswagen not just moves people upwards with an incredible package, is our strong eyes portfolio, but we will furthermore in the future move people forward with its ID range. To enter the battery electric vehicle era, Volkswagen Taiwan has built a solid 360 degree plan to facilitate the electrified mobility. In addition to a comprehensive product lineup, infrastructure readiness, digitalization application, and after sales services are all granted high importance and consideration. In terms of product, we are planning to launch our ID4 and ID5, as you know. But very important, we are not only certain we are going to launch it as Pro, we are also going to launch it as GTX version, like you can see here on my left side. We are getting our Volkswagen partners ready for electrification as we speak. Plan is actually to equip them with 360 kilowatt DC chargers to offer a wide high-speed charging infrastructure to our customers. And there, Volkswagen Group Taiwan perfectly fits into our plans to offer nationwide um, very convenient service. Pilot charging stations will soon be rolled out, so please watch this space too. So with regards to customer experiences, we'll integrate our digitalization platform and application solution to enhance charging convenience. Like I already said, one app will provide you 500 charging possibilities. But we are also continuing to expand our service coverage and quality through online and offline platforms to further improve convenience for our beloved Taiwanese Volkswagen customers. More express service stations will be opened to provide fast and convenient service to our customers. So the first one this year will be actually Mauli, Dauphin, back end of this month. Volkswagen Taiwan will continue to focus on optimizing our customer experience throughout all touch points. We will have an even more digitalized service, launch a new vehicle connectivity upgrade, and will personalize service with our updated My Volkswagen app. We clearly intend to have the closest connection, the closest connection to our customers of all volume car brands here in Taiwan. 
conference gatherings and events are from our point of view a good tool to interact with our esteemed customer base and have joint experiences as our Volkswagen family. But also our multiple loyalty programs will support our journey to be a truly loved brand. The emotions are key for Volkswagen. So to conclude, whether it's about products, after sales service, or vehicle maintenance, Volkswagen consistently listens to customers' feedback, maintains the strengths of our loved brand and products, and ensures every customer enjoys a perfect customer journey. Therefore, love, emotion, dear media friends, thank you very, very much for your great support in 2023. Without you, our historical success wouldn't have been possible. And obviously, thanks again for joining in today. I know you have busy schedules. Also, the Volkswagen brand wishes you a fantastic year of the dragon. All the best in 23. And now I have the pleasure to hand over to my beloved colleague, Christine. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the Volkswagen Taiwan, Xie Stefan, will bring us the share. 是的，今天我们在现场看到我们的 GT5、GT 啊，我们的 ID5、GTX， 正如刚刚我们的总裁所分享的，希望能够对于我们的顾客们、我们的车主们能够有三百六十度，无论是软体到一体，无论是线上到线下，完整的体验之外，对于所有的媒体朋友们，也希望大家在新的一年跟我们一起来期待。我们的 T Cross， 我们的 Golf 的这个横跨五十周年的活动，另外还包括了我们的 ID.4、ID.5 的推出。好的，接下来的部分，我相信所有在座的朋友们应该跟我一样，都很了解了。呃，聪明的就懂，所以接下来要登场的就是我们的 Skoda Taiwan。让我们一起来欢迎的是我们 Skoda Taiwan 的总裁，欢迎 The Managing Director of Skoda Taiwan， Mr. Chris Lee， 李玉林先生，欢迎。还是要从斯柯达品牌的立场欢迎各位莅临，那也借这个机会再一次跟各位祝福二零二四龙年大吉。哦，我知道各位都很辛苦哦，因为今天简报内容相当的精彩，所以我会尽我最大的努力，用精简的方式，让各位了解一下斯柯达的近况。首先还是要回顾一下二零二三年。二零二三年，斯柯达交出了一张不错的成绩啊、哦！在新车销售方面，我们创造了历史新高，突破了一万台的呃这个记录啊、哦！那也因为这些表现，所以在今年一月初啊，斯柯达台湾的成绩还有很多做法努力，也被原厂、呃、大幅度的报道，并且刊登在呃发售给全球斯柯达员工的通讯上。所以让全世界很多跟斯柯达相关的同仁都能了解，哇，原来在地球上台湾这个小地方，还有很多事情正在发生。那除此之外，我们这些呃努力耕耘成果，所以我们在2023年也非常幸运的在斯柯达全球的一些评比竞赛当中得到一些不错的成绩，名列前茅。这个当中包含了去年全球第十二届全。世界斯柯达的服务技能大赛，那当然也包含了我们的销售成绩，二零二三年海外市场第一名。同时，哦，我个人觉得最更开心的是，我们得到全球 Human Touch 以人为本服务精神的最大奖。哦，所以这些成绩，哦，除了要感谢我斯柯达台湾的同仁伙伴，我要感谢我公司的同仁给我非常给品牌非常强的支持。更重要，我要谢谢在座每一位好朋友。呃，这一路走过来，有你们的支持、指教、爱护，这个品牌斯柯达才能继续往前，不断的成长。所以在这边特别谢谢各位。然后进入二零二四年，还有很多很重要的事情。第一个是，我们会持续不断的提升在通路以及顾客服务上面的，不管是品质或是量能。所以很快的，在两天之后，三月六号又要跟各位见面。我们在台北内湖，呃，全功能。呃，结合了展示服务以及板喷，一个投资非常呃巨大的一个新的设施要跟各位见面，所以两天后要又要见。那除此之外，我们会导入
原厂全新在通路上面的 CI， 同时我们会把我们在服务服务厂的这个服务量呢，啊，包括工作也会持续在扩大。那各位更有兴趣的是二零二四年的产品。哦，就像我上礼拜跟各位谈过的，今年会非常的忙碌，我会非常密集的跟各位见面。希望那台湾已经拟定了六台新车上市的计划，所以从第二季开始，每隔一个月到两个月，我就会跟各位再见面一次。那会非常忙碌，可是也会非常精彩。我相信对各位媒体好朋友来讲，可能更关心的是，哎，那小达的电动车，今天都谈了很多电动车，各位也看到。恩雅在这边，那我今天可以跟各位说明，在二零二四年，也就是今年，我们会同时把恩雅、恩雅股配跟恩雅股配 RS 同步导入到台湾，好，所以今年二零二四年也会成为斯柯达电动车元年。除此之外啊，结合整个台湾服饰集团的这个策略，好，以及。这个集团的我们叫中校资源，哦，我们也会在上市前，在全省经销通路建制超过十座三百六十千瓦的这个快速充电桩，好，那呃除此之外，呃我们有这个集团整个策略，不管在软体、硬体，全部把它结合在一起，希望在电动车上市的那一开始，我们就可以给客户电动车的车主一个最好使用经验。除此之外，啊，当然数位化应用服务也非常重要。呃，去年我跟各位说明，我们也在筹备斯柯达的数位化应用服务。那在今年，应该不久之后，啊，第一个斯柯达的数位应用服务也可以正式推出，啊，让消费者有一个更好的经验。那我们的这个应用服务叫 My s c o d a App， 它是一个呃跟客户的界面是借由手机。那除了可以提供很多车辆的资讯。然后品牌的资讯之外，当然也包含线上销售、线上预约等等等，好，所以整个这个软体应用服务，其实跟刚刚前面几位总裁们提到的 VGT， 好，台湾服饰集团的这个软体资源，在后台其实都是互动。这个平台将来在电动车上市之后，也可以作为整个呃充电 APP 的使用，好，这个就是一个这个集团中校的好处，好，所以。这个呃，后面等到快要上市前，呃，它有很多功能，我再多花一点时间啊，跟各位做说明。好，那里面的一些功能其实真的是蛮实用的。好，所以容我到上市前再跟各位报道。那总结来讲， 2 0 2 3年我们交出了不错的成绩，进入2024年，它不光是出了台湾，在台湾的第十年，同时也会是电动车数位服务的元年。我们会一直持续着我们的初衷，以人为本，生根台湾，会持续不断的期许多达，期许我们成为台湾最接地气的欧洲的进口车品牌。啊，那讲到这边，我相信各位已经听了很多，然后肚子也饿了，所以容我在这边先告一段落。呃，今天的报告内容，如果各位有不清楚的，待会我们在时间还可以再交谈。还可以再多交流。那最后还是借这个机会，再次感谢各位的朋友、好朋友、媒体好朋友的莅临。那肚子饿了，待会多吃一点，多喝一点，然后请祝各位身体健康，万事如意。谢谢各位，谢谢各位，谢谢 Chris， 也谢谢 Chris， 谢谢各位一坐，各位静坐的时候休息一下下。刚刚 Chris 也跟我们的分享，我们的 Show the Taiwan 没有错， 2 0 2 4年将会是我们的数位化，将会是我们的电动车的元年，完整的产品线的规划，以及六款的新车，接下来等预计要上市，加上的有更多更多的机会能够跟所有的媒体朋友们见面，也请大家一同期待。正如刚刚我们的集团四大不同的品牌一位一位的总裁的分享，大家都已经感受得到，我们在2024年的蓄势待发。等着跟大家一起开启全新的纯电篇章。接下来，让我们再一次迎接我们今天在舞台上面所看到的所有的车款，让我们一起来 electrify Taiwan。
友们，在我们的四款车款一并亮相的同时，也想要再一次邀请我们的所有的长官们 ，once again， let's welcome all of our、uh, managing directors. Please first welcome the managing director of Audi Taiwan, Mr. Rahil Kamsari, also the chairman and CEO of Volkswagen Group Taiwan. And let's welcome、uh, the managing director of Volkswagen Commercial Vehicle, Huayin Julia. And please welcome the managing director of Volkswagen Taiwan. Please welcome Stefan Knapp. 欢迎我们的总裁。最后，当然要让我们来欢迎我们 Skoda Taiwan， 我们的总裁。Once again, please welcome Mr. Chris Lee. 欢迎李玉玲先生能够再一次的回到我们的舞台区。也请我们四位长官一起合影。We'd like to take this opportunity for all four of our managing directors to take a group photo together. All right, 请我们的四位长官能够站紧一些些 ，step just one step closer. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look to the、uh, center, to the middle position. 看我们的正中间、正前方，先看我们的正前方。好，接下来麻烦我们的总裁们。All right, take a look to your right hand side. 我们会场的左手边 ，right hand side. 好，待会儿会回到中间哦。先让我们左手边的呃媒体朋友们捕捉一下画面。Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's take a look at the middle section, the center. 看一下我们的正前方。All right, thumbs up, like, great. 好 ，Don't forget the left hand side. 我们会场的右边 left hand side over there. Over here to the、uh, left hand side. 好，接下来呢，也要麻烦我们的工作人员给我们准备一下我们的酒杯。来，请为我们上一下刚刚我们的这个呃，李总裁也提到了哈，这个大家可能都不能等了已久了，但是还是希望能够运用我们手中的一个酒杯，再一次的跟大家一起来期待着，在今年的飞跃的一年。Now, before we do the toasting, once again, I would like to have all of our managing directors to take a look to the middle, to the to the center. 我们看一下正前方带着酒杯的这一张合影。好，带着酒杯的这一张合影。当然，我知道也有蛮多的我们的这个媒体朋友们，可能现在还在位置上面没有拍摄需求的话，是不是也能够麻烦大家同样的举起面前的酒杯、水杯、果汁杯，都可以与我们的总裁们能够一起 toasting， 象征我们今天的午宴的开席，好吗？ Okay, everybody, ready? Three, two, one, cheers! 让我们一起在飞跃奔腾的金龙年时，整个台湾合资集团蓄势待发。Electrify Taiwan， 让我们一起来开启纯动纯电的新篇章。谢谢。Once again, I would like to thank Anne Sarai 先生，谢谢 Rahil， 谢谢 Chris 李玉林总裁，谢谢 Julia， 谢谢吴总裁，谢谢 Stephen， 谢谢 Knapp 先生。好的，也请我们四位总裁能够回座，稍微休息一下下。感谢。在我们今天中午的年度的媒体参叙的时间，接下来呢，我们伴随着四位总裁的。一声干杯！我们今天的午宴也要正式的开席。不好意思，让所有媒体朋友们久等了。当然，在我们今天的中午，欢迎各位能够尽情的享用为大家所准备的呃佳肴美酒。同样的，如果今天有任何的资料需要补足，任何的画面，任何的拍摄，也请大家能够跟我们所有的台湾福斯集团的工作人员稍微知会一声。待会儿我们会麻烦我们台湾福斯集团的总裁，会麻烦我们还有我们的安桑瑞先生呢，会在会场的外面我们的接待大厅来接受电子媒体好朋友们的呃访问联访的时间，会在我们会场外面的背景区，也请有拍摄需求、访问需求的媒体朋友们能够抢先就位。再一次的感谢各位今天中午的莅临，我们接下来的午夜的时间也请大家好好的享受，预祝各位能够胃口大开，光大放地，谢谢大家。